Putin was humiliated as Ukraine secured a significant victory on Sunday after recapturing a town from Russian occupation and sending a powerful message back to the Kremlin. Victory saw Ukrainian forces destroy the famed tanks of the notorious Stalingrad Tank Division. Now, the legendary division was defeated by the Ukrainian army in the town of Trastianets, 15 kilometers from the Russian border and 220 kilometers from Kiev. The Kremlin has occupied the area for 25 days, the images of burned cannons and tanks from the Stalingrad division along with Ukrainian flags flying once more over the town can only send a disheartening message. Defeated back to the Kremlin. The town was claimed at the beginning of the conflict in Ukraine after a week-long skirmish, which resulted in tanks and artillery being placed in the town square. Similar equipment has now been destroyed in the same square by Ukrainian troops and rebels, who killed or captured Russian troops when they were unable to hold their new territory. Ground warfare expert Jack Watling said that recapturing the town demonstrates that the Ukrainians are capable of counterattacking, and thus, Russia cannot assume that once they have secured a base they have told defend it. Footage, posted on social media on Sunday, shows Ukrainian troops retaking their town on foot from the protection of an armored combat vehicle as they open fire on Russian forces. After an explosion caused by a Ukrainian tank, the Facebook page of Kolodny Yar, 93rd Mechanized Brigade, stated, Trastianets is not occupied by Russia. It added, today, the 93rd Mechanized Brigade Kolodny Yar, with the help of the Territorial Defense Forces and local ethnic forces, liberated the city of Trastianets in the Sumy region from the occupying forces of Russia. The Kolodny Yar fighters managed to drive away Russia's elite ground army, the Kantamir, 4th Guards, tank division. This preceded the failure of the command post and leadership of the 96th Ranger Reconnaissance Brigade in the first days of defending Okturka and the battles of the Trastianets. It continued, after a series of defeats, Russian troops fled the Trastianets, leaving behind weapons, equipment and ammunition that the 93rd Brigade would use to liberate other Ukrainian cities from occupation. The site later added photos of Ukrainian leaders meeting with townspeople and others posing for pictures with destroyed Russian equipment belonging to the legendary Stalingrad tank division. The city of Sumy has been under attack for almost a month and Trastianets is on the main road 30 miles south of the city, so retaking this Ukrainian territory is key to stopping Russian maneuvers and bringing hope for a supply route to the city. Former British Army Intelligence Colonel Philip Ingram stated, Trastianets was a town on the important north-south route between Sumy and Okturka. If Ukraine has control over that path, then you are severely limiting Russia's ability to maneuver. Any path Ukraine backs down affects Russia's ability to move.